welcome to another booktube video from me, Lauren from Lauren in the Books. We're in another setting! This is another setting! Today is the 1st of March and that means there is only 9 months until we can start our advent calendars. But also it means that it is the day for my February favourite. So I'm going to start, as I always do, with the favourite TV that I have watched this month. So I've actually got three things. I don't know if to whittle them down to one right now. No, it's too much pressure. The Walking Dead is the first thing. Um, it was the mid-season premiere of The Walking Dead. And there is going to be no spoilers here, but it was just one of the best episodes that I have ever seen of The Walking Dead. I felt emotional. I felt like I could kill some zombies myself I just thought the whole thing was amazing and yeah but easily the best episode that I've ever seen the second thing is something that David and I have come to very very recently in fact two nights ago um, we stumbled across a program called Drunk Histories which I believe is also in the US but we've been watching the UK version which is comedians getting drunk and telling um, and retelling stories from uh, retelling history basically so the first episode we watched had a Scottish comedian whose name I cannot remember telling <laughs> oh my god this is awful telling a story uh, Scottish, a bit of Scottish history about what was his name? Do you remember? Scott, someone. God, that's so bad. But let me tell you, it was really funny. And Matt Horn was doing the acting out of it, um, and it is just hilarious. Like the setup is so so funny, and I also think it gives a really good insight into actually how intelligent these comedians are, because there's no way you could just reel that off. They obviously know that story um, for them to be able to act it out again. But yeah, I really really loved it and thought it was great. Now the third piece of TV, which I feel like a bit embarrassed to put it in here because the, although this is my favourite video and I should be very honest, this piece, this TV is literally like the worst but best programme on the whole entire world and that programme is I'll be for Weekender <laughs> because it's on ITV2 and it's about a group of like early 20s, they might even, some might even be like late teens, um, of uh, English, uh, British um people that go to work in Ibiza um, as holiday reps for people that are coming over basically to get drunk and have it off um, and it is just so drama filled and so crap it's just so compelling I cannot stop watching it we love it don't we darling we do we absolutely love it and it's so embarrassing that that's one of my favorite things but hey that's one of my favorite things so I have not watched any films this month not one film has gone into these eyeballs so that is why I've done three TV shows this month because I've not watched any TV, uh, any films at all so my favorite book there's also two for this I'm really doubling up today Um, there's my favorite book of the month that I gave five stars God, this is a bit dirty is the Fox and the Star by Coralie Bickford Smith which David got me for um, Valentine's Day or anniversary? Vaniversary. 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 Because we got together around Valentine's Day, so we call it a Vaniversary. Um, this is a children's book. It's a storybook about a fox who has a friend in a star. It is the most beautiful story. David and I read it to each other because that's how cool we are. The uh, the illustrations in this are just unbelievable. So Coralie Bickford Smith is the um, she is the person who designs the front cover of the Penguin Clothbound Classics, <coughs> of which I have a collection. I don't have any here with me. Um, but this is just beautiful. It's such a lovely story, and I actually cried tears of joy in it. So. Genuine tears of joy. Can you, can you confirm the tears of joy? Confirmed. Confirmed on the tears of joy. So yeah, this is just this. I gave five stars because it is just literally the most beautiful, immaculate thing ever. It's perfection, absolute perfection. But in terms of novel this month, my favourite novel was Fishnet by um, Kirsten Innes. I think it's Innes. So this is a book about a girl whose sister went missing a um, some time ago and she is revisiting it because she is on a Hindu in the area that she used to live. So when I heard about this um, and the fact that her sister used to uh, be a sex worker, I thought this would be somewhat like a like crime thriller basically, like a murder mystery, who done it, etc. It is so much more than that. This is the most educational, sensible, um, well-researched book that I have read in such a long time. I am so impressed with this. I gave this 4.5 stars and there's only one reason I gave it, I couldn't give it 5, because there was just something in here which didn't, I, I just thought, mm, I, I don't know if that would, if that would happen. So basically, um, the, the, the girl's names are Fiona and Rona, <laughs> so that I find funny anyway, um, but the, the sister that went missing um, is Rona and um, the, the mother of Fiona and Rona just seems to be just 
slightly too accepting of the fact that her daughter works as a sex worker and I just thought that that is not how a mother would would view that I think a mother would be much more concerned about it than oh my, my daughter's a sex worker and she's not like an uncaring mother she's a very caring mother um, and that was just something that I didn't think run quite try quite true so that's why I can give it five stars but this is amazing it's so educational and sensible and answered questions about the sex trade um, that uh, the sex industry and sex workers that I didn't even know I had and I just found it amazing it was really really impressive and it showed it showed so much about it without like ramming it down your throat um, I would definitely definitely urge people to read this this is published by Freight Books it's a really nice book it's got lovely little French flaps on it um, and the way it's told it's told in um, lots of different ways so it's told like the normal um, narrative where it follows Fiona trying to find out about her sister it also has slight bit, um, quick bits at the beginning and end following Rona um, and it's also told through blog posts um, and emails and some messages and yeah just really really impressive writing really impressed with this and this was Kirsten in his first book so wow amazing well done, two very good books this month. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about was my um, favourite thing that I made out of Jamie's 30 Minute Meals. As you may well know, I'm cooking my way through this this year. Um, and my favourite thing, we only made three things. One was an absolute horrific, I, I never burn dinners and I burn one dinner. I feel absolutely mortified about that. But my favourite thing I made was Thai red corn curry with jasmine rice, cucumber salad and oops a daisy, I didn't make the papaya palette platter to buy a pal platter because it was um, my boyfriend and my best friend Emma and her boyfriend came over and none of them liked papaya so I would have been eating that papaya platter myself but uh, this was absolutely delicious really really nice and I will insert a picture of it <laughs> Um, some other things that I've liked this month are, I'm going to go for uh, Beauty Bits, which are two Rimmel lipsticks, one of which I'm wearing now, the shade One of a Kind I'm wearing now. Um, these are 6 dollars in Rimmel, but they're buy one get one half price at the moment, and they've sort of reformulated, repackaged their Rimmel um, lipsticks. Uh, one, as I said, one's called One of a Kind, and one's called Under My Spell, so one is like a wine colour, which I've got on here, and then the other one is like a sort of purpley wine colour, so berry tones and wine tones are my favourite lipsticks, um, and I found these, and I always just find that Rimmel ones really, they're very long lasting, I wore this out for the whole day on Saturday, I had to reapply it a few times, but quite often like, they're gone, like in other lipsticks, but I always find Rimmel really good for high street, and like for £9 for two lipsticks, well done Rimmel. One other thing I have been enjoying this month is daffodils. <laughs> um, I have been, every time I go into a supermarket, I have been buying myself a bunch of daffodils because they are so cheap. These are 99p. I buy them when they look like spring onions so that I get loads and loads of use out of them. These, when did I buy these? Last week. Yeah. It's now Tuesday. I bought these on like Thursday. They are so long lasting and they just brighten up everywhere apart from this room because it's quite dark, but <laughs> they, they brighten up everywhere and I just love looking at them and I'll actually be quite sad when they're not in the shops anymore because I, I just, they've become part of my sort of like staple shop that I just buy a 99p bag, a uh, bunch of daffodils, so very nice there. The last two things are, um, so the, the second to last thing that I want to talk about is the fact that I went back to the sportsman, so in my November favourites, David took me to the sportsman for my birthday, and it was mine and David's anniversary this month, um, and we went to the sportsman and had the tasting menu. It's a, um, a, a gastro pub, basically, in, um, in Seasalter, which is in between Whitstable and Famisham in Kent. Um, and it is the most amazing food I've ever had in my life. So when I went last year, I was so impressed. Um, David and I just, uh, David and I just ordered off the a la carte menu, but this time we had the tasting menu, which took a bit of convincing for David, didn't it? Because you're not too keen. You like to pick your favourite things, mm -hmm. especially as you're spending quite a lot of money. Um, but I was keen to have the tasting menu, and we did not regret it. It was absolutely amazing. Eight courses of the best food I've ever tasted in my life. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I am at Lauren and the, uh, Lauren and the Books, and I have posted all the photos here. I will post some individual photos. I uh, will, in particular, post the photo of the roast potato because we only have one roast potato, but it's the best roast potato I've ever had in my entire life. And it was just the best food ever. And if you haven't been, if you live near to Kent, if you live near to Whitstable, like, just urge you to go because it was just incredible. The best food I've ever had. And we're going again in David's birthday. So I think we're going to try and go three times a year for anniversary and both our birthdays because it's just so good. And we're going to save up and go because it's just worth every single penny. 
So the last thing I want to talk about is an Instagram account that I've been following and that is 12 Cats Lady. So I've been following 12 Cats Lady for quite a while. <laughs> Are you excited because I'm talking about 12 yeah. Cats Lady? I've been following 12 Cats Lady for quite a while. Um, she is a lady who I believe lives in America. She doesn't really give her geographical location. She has got 12 Persian cats and they are all adorable. One looks like Minnie, obviously not as adorable as Minnie because Minnie's the best cat ever. Minnie, what are you doing? You sit on the table. Um, and she's got 12 Persian cats and this month she's been doing an individual profile on each of those cats as if it's the cat on Instagram like, hi my name is Chu and I love this and I love this and I like it best when I can play with this person and oh it's just been absolutely adorable and I've just been cannot wait to read all the individual posts of them and now I just feel like I know them all. Um, so that is definitely worth a check out if you love cats, if, particularly if you love Persian cats, then um, go and check that out and check out the um, the black Persian they've got there that isn't quite as cute as Minnie but it's okay. Um, and that is it for me for the month of February, my favourite things. Um, what have been your favourite things in February? Have you enjoyed any of these things that I have enjoyed? And I will see you all again tomorrow with my February wrap up. Goodbye!